New at five, job one, jobs. That word today from Governor-elect Ralph Northam. Northam making his first major speech in Hampton Road since his election last month as Virginia's 73rd governor. Mike Gunning tells us Northam was generally upbeat but does have one significant concern. Uh, that is right, Janet and David. It is the continuing budgetary dysfunction in Washington, with Congress seemingly incapable of passing a proper appropriations bill. Virginia's growth has trailed the rest of the country for the past six years as it struggles to recover from the recession, according to a recent study by ODU, which found that almost 30 percent of the state's gross domestic product, its total output of goods and services, is directly related to federal spending. In Hampton Roads, approximately 39 percent of the value of economic activity is directly or indirectly related to defense spending. No region in Virginia should be dependent on just one industry. So with urgency, we really need to diversify or expand our economy. Governor-elect Ralph Northam told members of the Hampton Roads Chamber that despite Virginia's 3.6 percent unemployment rate, a nine-year low, the state needs to do more to secure high-paying jobs. Do we have challenges? Absolutely. And that's why we all need to be ready to get to work. One major impediment, Northam said, is years of budgetary mismanagement in Congress, with the country now facing yet another fiscal cliff next Friday with the scheduled expiration of the current stopgap continuing resolution funding government. Northam said he is worried. We have really leaned in uh, on our congressmen and our senators up in Washington to say, you know, please deal with the budget. And we really don't need, especially in Virginia, another sequestration, another government shutdown. Northam said that he wants to improve broadband and cell phone access in rural parts of Virginia, and he wants to beef, beef up STEM programs in the public schools. Northam will be sworn in as Virginia's 73rd governor on Saturday, January 13th at noon at the state capitol in Richmond. Reporting live, Mike Gooding, 13 News Now.